Morning all. Okay, let's have one or two games on the ICC to e back. Had some fun with him in the past, I think. Fun games. Let's try Alekine Defense. Provocation. Nope, he's not accepting it. I don't like this played against me that much, this line. Um, I think. Knight e4. So sometimes this bishop can be hemmed in. I don't like that as white particularly. I find it uncomfortable. And this is theory I didn't know about. F3. It looks a bit odd. It looks like D3 is going to be a pain. Uh, I think I'll play D3 just to stop uh, this development so, so much. Okay. B4. Okay. Can I go back to D to D4 here? On that D4 square. Maybe g6 to cut the knight out of f5. Bishop g7, I need to develop this anyway. I've just blocked it in. Um, but I think prospects are good. This diagonal needs to be blunted as well. So I think g6 is it's dual purpose. Keep the knight out, keep the bishop out of h7. Um, although knight c6 might be more accurate to threaten knight d4. Possibly. Although bishop b5, bishop d7. I'm hitting b4. Might be a little bit more accurate than g6. Okay, again, I'm hitting b4 though. If that bishop's the hemmed in one, then he's giving away the good one if he takes here. It's hemmed in by that pawn. Uh, so knight d4 is also pretty juicy, I think. This is this control of. Uh, the d4 square, but knight b4 is dangerous surely after knight e2. I just don't like the, the variation as white myself when this is played. It's interesting that uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure he's that uh, comfortable either with it. In fact, queen d7, bishop a4 might be useful. Even casting queen side might be an idea. Again, delaying g6. I do want to move this g6, I think. Uh, maybe now. Although f4, so how about h5, f4, h4? That's interesting as well. And reserve the possibility of casting queenside. Opposite side casting games are often quite good fun. Especially he's given me um, an undermining point that this diagonal is slightly, well, this diagonal is slightly weakened. I've got the bishop pair. Obviously, this bishop is not going to get to uh, anywhere that special soon. Okay, but now, now is the time, maybe. Great time. Uh, knight e4 is not on f6. This pawn's useful on e7. Bishop h6 might be useful. h4 might be useful. <clears throat> okay, how about bishop h6? And also, bishop a4 and rook, e, rook d1 is useful for a skewer. Uh, so bishop a4 here, just skewer. Has he got d5? Have I messed things up? Take, takes, take on d1. Okay, I can take my exchange here. And play c6 just to block things up. If he wants to play um, d5, yeah, he can. Or he can just castle. If I castle. D5 is too good, I think. That castle then queenside. D5, knight g5. And castle then queenside. Protects b7. D5, knight g5. Mind you, I'm liberating that bishop. There's queen a4 that, again to be a pain. Um, on d1. Mind you, knight c3 here. Oh no, knight c3. I just I've just blundered, haven't I? Knight c3 is really strong. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> oh dear, oh dear! What a muppet! And this knight g5, I can take on the e4. It's not good. Ah, oh, muppets. <laughs> 
Ah, oh, get a rook yeah. off. Okay, I'll get this pawn. At least his pawns aren't so menacing. Alright, if I get this rook in the game, we've got to fight again. Just as I was doing well there. So, rook d8, and um, hope for the best. <laughs> I'm on a2 at the moment. The centre looks good. Uh, okay, what can I look forward to here? Was h4, is that any good? Um, get the queen out of there for a moment. I mean the king out of there, just protect this. I don't know, c6? Got a clock advantage. c6, what about check here? Check. I know, it's rook d4 just getting, getting the queens off here. If I get the queens off, he's got a weak um, b4 at the moment. And bishop f4 is nice for a pin. So I'm going to get time for bishop f4 with knight e2. Uh, okay, there's bishop f4 here or taking on e6. If I take on e6. Letting him take on um Right. What's going on here? Oh there's knight h5, there's bishop e5. Mind you, queen e4, bishop e2. No, no, knight h5, queen e4. So is this pin any good? What about h4 here? Isn't this dangerous for his king? My pieces seem coordinated here. Uh, and it looks as though there's a king safety issue creeping up. Okay, yeah. Can I not mate with queen d1 here? Potentially. His pieces are away from his king here, so queen d1 on king h1. On g3 that doesn't look good, I just take and then um, queen f2. Bit of luck. Uh, I've blown it just then with queen a4, but it looks good here. I guess it's to be added to the scouts collection, even though he's yeah. uh, not resigning yet. Uh, Queen G7. Let's be cautious here. Am I gonna? I can't fluff this up, surely. <laughs> if I win this G6 pawn, surely that's uh, it's over. <laughs> okay. Uh, rook D2. No, I'll just take this pawn. Take this pawn. Just b6, calm b6. E falls loose. Check. Okay. Just take on e4. Yeah, I don't like that line for white myself. Uh, this line. When knight c3 is played d5, this d4 is such a pain. I. On chessworld.net, uh, which I'm the webmaster of, by the way, I, I think I've lost. Uh, more than 90% of games in this variation were white uh, because here it just seems there's problems with uh, this d4 pawn uh, f3 I think I might have even played it myself it's just now black's got d4 now black's got the bishop pair and also this kind of weakening of the of the dark squares isn't helpful tactically later not winning the exchange was cool. I think c6 I was thinking about for a moment and d t uh, d5 and I should have played that anyway. That that doesn't seem such a big deal. Maybe just queen c7 after and I've stopped the pawns being so menacing. So this was a blunder coming up. This queen a4. So knight g5. Mind you, you still got the pawns in the center and a lot more tension in the position. So what this did do was kind of um, I'm missing knight c3, protecting d1, um, and I thought there was a pin there anyway. But he's evicting the, the double pressure on d1, so that pin's hope, hopeless anyway here. But what it did do is get one pawn, uh, an important pawn, and an exchange of yeah. rooks. And I was already the exchange up, so it's rook versus knight versus 
not in bishop. Now this position, uh, it isn't so bad. Uh, maybe to play. This king slightly still got these weakened dark squares. There's a pin on this diagonal. Didn't seem that bad. Check. Okay. Check. Comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.